let me explain the operation of the whole system when you buy the software you will get these three executable files the first one is for the encryption the second is for the video player the third is for the key generator this file will remain with you you will install this on your own computer to encrypt the videos it is not given to your end user or student this middle file is given to the end user that is your student along with the encrypted videos so the student gets this setup file and the encrypted video you can place this file and the encrypted videos on google drive possibly upload them on your website somewhere or you can give them in the form of pen drive or sd card or dvd whichever is convenient to you it is absolutely safe to give this file along with the encrypted videos to your end user by placing them on a public upload because no one will be able to play those videos without obtaining a license from you so this third software is the one that will be used by you so that you give the license to the end user let me now run the softwares in the sequence so that you understand the whole process i will install all of them the installation is done as usual i will not go through the installation steps just double click and install and i will come back with the three shortcuts that you will get for your computer so when you have installed the three softwares on your computer you will get three shortcuts on your desktop i am showing them in a certain folder demo so that the not required icons that are always available on our desktop those icons are not visible only the relevant icons are visible that is why i have placed them in a demo folder and cleaned up the whole screen for you so this is the encryption software icon this is the key generator icon and this is the player icon winplay is the name of the player software win key gen is the key generator vid and crypto is the encryption software our first step will always be to encrypt our videos let me demonstrate that process now we will double click this icon to open our encryption software i am minimizing this so this is the face of our encryption software you can do encryption in two ways so one is this one file at a time if you just want to encrypt one file and then the second option is this bulk encryption bulk encryption is for encrypting a large number of videos with a single click first of all i will explain what is one file at a time so the first option is choose file you will click here to browse for your file select that file the name of the file will appear here the location the name of the video will appear in this box automatically but you can change it if you want this is the place for package code now let me explain first about the package code package code is used to club or combine your videos into one selling unit selling unit for example if you have let us say 100 videos and you want 
that one single license should apply to all these 100 videos so that they expire together, they work together. And if a user runs any single one of these 100 videos and he obtains the license for that from you, then all the 100 videos of that package will automatically open by that license. The package code must be a 5 digit or 5 character number, uh, 5 character, uh, it should be of 5 characters. For example, I can make a package code P001. A package code must be exactly 5 characters. It should not be longer. It should not be smaller. One thing. The second thing is, you should ensure that your package code, it starts with a alphabet. With English alphabet. It has to start with an English alphabet, but the other four can be alphabet or can be numbers. Another example of a package code would be Q, S, 5, 9, N. This is a package code which has five characters and it starts with an English alphabet and otherwise it can contain anything. So this is the package code, this is the video name and this is the file. You must be wondering why we have given the option of one file at a time. Suppose you have encrypted 100 videos in one bulk and later on you add two videos to it then it is not necessary to go through the whole bulk encryption process. You can just apply the same package code to just these two videos and they will become a part of the original package that was created under bulk encryption but with the same package code. Now this option, it says free trial minutes. This option you can choose to specify the number of free minutes that will be available to your end user. We can say it is a sort of a trailer. Usually what happens is you sell your videos through an online system and user just wants to make sure that he is able to see the first few parts and another use is that you might like to have a sort of advertisement. You might tell your users that you can download these videos free and you can try to play the samples also. And after one minute or whatever time you specify, the video will stop and will ask for the license. The free minutes will range from 1 to 10. Then there is a small tolerance of plus minus 30 seconds that will apply. So your free trial might last for exactly 1 minute or it might last for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This is the tolerance that will apply. So at the most you will have to bear with this 30 second uh, limit and if you set your free trial minutes to 10, then your video might play for 10 minutes and 30 seconds at the most. If you want to make your video completely free, that is there will be no license requirements, then you just apply the package code ABCDE. Just type your package code as ABCDE and your video 
is we all the videos in that package or that particular video they will not require any license so let me now demonstrate the whole operation practically i will show how i can encrypt this single video boards and streams how can i encrypt it with this option so first of all i will click this one to browse to this video so when i click browse i can select this video and click open so here automatically the path has come to the whole video as avi file avi is not actually a recommended format but only for demo that i am using this but preferably you should use mp4 format anyhow when i browse it i automatically get the name of the video here this will appear on the video player when the user plays it so you can change it also and here now i will apply a package code let me choose the package code as q001 if i try to type more characters i am unable to type because the software will not accept characters more than 5 in this case and let me choose the free trial minutes as 2 minutes i can go up to if i keep pressed it pressed i can go up to 10 free minutes and i can go down up to 1 free minute so you will have to provide a 1 free minute for each of your videos that is the minimum requirement now i am selecting 2 minutes for my end user i will now click this start button when i click it the process starts reading please wait and very soon it gets encrypted encrypted file created in the same folder as the original file we'll click okay we will click close and open our folder where that video was located you can see that this was the original video and this one is the encrypted counterpart this video this video is now protected by a license and it is also protected by anti screen capture features nobody can play this video unless they have the license with them let me now take up the bulk encryption process to open the bulk encryption click on bulk encryption we have written the instructions here also so that in case you just forget it over a period of time you can read these instructions very click carefully and we will now do bulk encryption so according to these instructions i have to create a folder named videos say d drive or anywhere where a simpler path is there for example i have created a folder videos here double click it and suppose you have 100 videos and you want them to be inside a package called p0001 then you have to create a folder p0001 this is the name of the package if you go inside it you should place all your videos inside this folder i have placed just two for demo only and you can create more folders parallel to this folder for which you want to encrypt simultaneously so all videos inside a b c d e these two videos they will be free because the package i have chosen is a b c d e and i have deliberately created a wrong package by taking six letters so that i am able to show you that there will be problems when you encrypt this okay coming back to this 
this is the videos folder and now I will choose this folder click click here and we now browse to our folder videos this has ABCDE this has this G898 and this has P0001 remember that you have to select this videos folder and not go deeper your selection must stop at this point don't go inside many people they go inside and then they complain that we are unable to encrypt our videos so this is a stressed point that you have to go to the parent folder that contains the packaged folders so on this side my packaged folders are inside videos so I am reaching this very folder this very folder by selecting this one let us click OK to start the process wait then free trial minutes have to be specified I keep it at 2 only and now I will click the start button see this is e hoven by videos this is the place where I have placed this videos folder you can place it at any convenient place but you have to browse to the videos folder not to the packages inside now click on start so the process is taking place package 1 of 3 file 1 of 2 96 percent done package file 2 of 2 and this process is now taking place a progress bar is there package 3 of 3 and when it is completed it will tell me package is done 2 files done 4 see log text for details now if you go into our videos folder I placed 3 packages but it is saying done two only and see log txt for details this is the log file I can click it he says skipped folder must be 5 alphanumeric g9 this folder was skipped so it has encrypted the other two folders this is p0001 and parallel to my videos a folder has been created which contains my encrypted videos similarly I can go back to check my other packages this one it contains nothing because it was rejected and ABCDE I sent two videos and if I go into it I find my both the videos encrypted so now I can deliver these packaged videos to my end user close it close it now what happens next is that your user receives this folder this one the encrypted videos and it is time for him to play them now I have just shown two videos probably it will be hundred or more and your user will install this WinPlay so WinPlay and these two videos or these 100 videos are available with him now the user has option either to double click this one or to just double click this shortcut he will be able to open the player let me now open the player so that I can explain the features to you this is the player that opens for us this is the name of the player winplay you can ask us any name ask us to give any name you want that is you can give this name of any any name of your choice this we will do customize for you this link is for our website you can give us the name of your website the location of your website so that it receives more hits 
this is a link placed at the top this will make your website more popular and users can get the recent news also of course your website will have to keep itself updated similarly another link is there about us you can provide us the link to your about us page and we will add it to your player this will be a part of our customization then obviously this is the close button and this portion is the video player well known video player that all of us know but now this time it is programmed to play the license files and here comes the name of your company your name of your company appears here your your player of your choice appears here your website your about us there is nothing about us about hoven about the company which provides you the software nothing of that will appear on this page which is available to your users so i'm stressing once again that this video player will be completely and 100% customized according to your brand let me now demonstrate the playing process close it now we will possibly double click it to open the player this is what opens i am pausing it if you remember we gave 2 free minutes to our user so this player will start playing the video immediately so that your end user can have a trailer view and before i start playing this is the caption of your video that appears here you can you you will generally place all these things on your video also for your own branding but it will also be available on the top this one is a part of the video it is not done by the player but it is a part of the recorded video this is the play pause and all buttons about which everybody is familiar and this is the product code p0001 and it is showing a product code with the place left actually this part is there because i have already applied license to this video earlier so that is why it is showing this way i will do one thing i will close this and open the other package or i will come back after a while and clear the licensing information so that i can demonstrate the whole process correctly okay i am back what i did was i played this that video eight times so now the license must have been corrupted and we can now start over again double click it the same video this time it is not licensed and he says please send us the following to obtain your license the product code and the token key this token key is particularly bound to this particular pc on which i am giving the demo and the license will apply to this particular pc only then the second option is close and exit and continue trial this continue trial option will allow the user to play the video for the 2 minutes that we allowed him the rest everything is same the name of the video at the top the links as usual the video player and the name of your company and a ready here now if i have license i will click this to apply the license i will close and exit or i will continue trial i will continue trial i will click this one now
you can see the name of your video appears on the player also at the top also and this video is now 20 seconds or 21 seconds ahead i will do one thing i'll just try to jump it fast forward and when i clicked here it stopped itself and said please send us the following to obtain your license it will not allow the user to play beyond the 2 minutes and plus minus 30 second time when you place close and exit you come out let us try the same thing again continue try now i'll click somewhere in between and immediately it says please send us the following to obtain your license close and exit even if the user tries to press these buttons he won't be able to go any way ahead so the only option is either to apply the license or exit close and exit let us do the same thing again continue and this time we will see that maximize it double click here to maximize it so the player is running in maximized mode and as soon as it hits that plus minus 30 area the video will ask the license i am not stopping the recording it is going and why i am allowing the recording because in the demo version i have allowed recording so that at least i can produce the video for you so it continues to operate and very soon it is going to hit that deadline and it will just give us a intimation that we need to provide a license for this it is moving in the trial area so far and look it has crashed and the user will not be able to go beyond that plus minus 30 period that we allowed at that time do remember that when the video is in trial mode it can be screen captured it is possible to screen capture it when it is in the trial mode because there is no point in protecting it at that time so now we will close and exit now we will double click it now this time the user wants to obtain the license this is the information p0015173 6946 when your user sends this information to you by an email or by sms or whatever you will use this information to provide him the license so this information will be used by you to provide the license let us suppose the user now decides to get the license he provides these two figures to you and let us see how you will generate the key for him i will close this right now so that we can come back when we apply the license for applying the license for giving the license you will use the software called win keygen we will double click it and this software opens let me minimize the other two windows so that i give you a clear view this is the software it has many options let me explain those options one by one the first is customer info you will type the name of the the email of your customer and press on search to obtain the history of that customer you will ask me why this history usually what happens is that a customer comes to you and says that my license is bound to my pc but i want it on my brother's pc or at my office pc please provide me a second license for that also and sometimes a user says that i have sold my earlier pc i want it on my new pc and you find that the user is speaking correct 
you trust him and you decide to provide him with a new license. Sometimes the user says that he accidentally uninstalled the application or formatted the PC and he wants a new license. Please remember that this software has the capability of detecting when a user speaks a lie. When a user formats his PC, this software will detect whether the key is coming from the same PC or not. So if you trust him, there is an option at the end that says allow from different PC. Otherwise, even if he has formatted his PC, this software will not allow it to generate because software will be able to see that the key cannot be from a different PC, cannot be from the same PC. Because that key which the user provides to you is bound to the hard disk and other things of your of that computer. By formatting, the hard disk doesn't go away. So that is why this win key gen is able to determine that the new key is from a different PC or from the same PC. And after you are satisfied on this history, you type the token that he has provided, type the product key. Product key is case sensitive. If it is capital P, then it should be capital P. If it is small p, it should be small p. So after you type in the customer email, after you type in the token and product key, you have to come to the license parameters. You can provide an evergreen license or you can limit the number of plays for the entire package. Suppose you want that the P0001 package should be played only 50,000 times, you can type in that value here. Or if you want it unlimited, you can simply tick mark this one. And then there is a license expiry date that can be picked from here and you will be able to restrict the license to that expiry date. Let me practically explain by putting in each information now. So here we are, we are typing the name of the customer and we will click the search button. Now he says that the user obtained his key on November 12 package ID was this much, expiry date was this much, play limit was this much and it was the first key. So as he gives more keys, you will be able to see the status of each key in this list. There is another possibility in the menu option above, you can show in Excel to export the entire customer database to an Excel sheet. You have 2000 customers, 2000 emails, all those emails can be sent to an Excel sheet by just clicking this option. This is also very useful for many customers. It will give entire history, all entries that you have made so far. Now let us enter the token here. The token that user gave me is this one, product code is this one. And I want to give him unlimited plays and I will set the expiry date to my choice 14th November. Then there is another defaults option so that whenever you open the software, it will automatically add 15 days, 30 days, 45 days, 730 days or whatever days you want to the current date. So you don't have to type in the date each time, you can set the defaults here. We have set it now as 365, you can change it to whatever according to your business. Then there is an option of an evergreen license. So if you forget it, I have provided a 
link here so that you can revise what it exactly is but now I will explain you an evergreen license tick marked is a license that will give you unlimited plays will have no expiry or date of license but it will be bound to a particular PC sometimes you just want to give your users a one-time license so in that case if the user formats his PC or uninstalls the application sometime then he can simply use that license that you provided the first time to activate his video this is also a useful option if you don't want to use it untick it and make your choices here and then we will click on get key but before that let me show this note also product code ABCDE is license free there is no PC binding and no time or play restrictions so the difference between ABCDE license and evergreen license is that evergreen license is bound to a PC it is non-transferable but ABCDE license will allow the videos to play on any computer for any time and for any number of plays ABCD is a virtually free license but evergreen license is a bound license let us get key now so when we pressed get key a save as dialog opens it says where to save the license file the name of the license file is made up of the email of the customer and the product type product code and we will now save it saved saved as sales underscore hoven as this much at the location you have specified and it is ok we will close it and let us go to that location now so this is where we saved that license you can save it any place it was for demo that I used the same place here also now this one is available to this you will email or send to your customer now it is the time to go to the customers PC and customer tries to play that video once again now he says have license we will click this one and we will browse to the license select that license and open and it says license applied successfully ok and the video starts playing now there are no time limitations the video will continue to play and at the bottom there will be an information how many plays are left 9 plays are left and after 9 plays or whatever is the expiry date that has been set this video will stop playing and it will ask for license again so we can close it try to play again the plays left are 8 now and suppose there is some user who wants to change the date and time closing it so that I show you how to change the date and time and this time now moves further to let us say 2 years or whatever the duration we set there click ok click ok and now try to play it it will again ask for a license the same license will not apply because it was not an evergreen license and many times at the expiry the users they try to shift the date back and let us see whether it can be done or not close and exit again change the date of the system to some back date 
so we will set it to the back date and click ok and try to play even in that case the user will not be able to play your videos because the license has been permanently damaged let us say he tries to apply the same license again in that case the license file is invalid or corrupted please ask for a new file from your supplier he would have been able to apply that file had the license been evergreen let me now show you the videos contained in the package abcde these videos are free double click no questions will be asked and they can be played endlessly for any time so this is all about the player the encryptor and the key generator i'll close it right now thank you